In our last reunion, the 50th, we talked about setting up a scholarship program. As of this date, we have given $5,000 in scholarships with $1,000 each year. We currently have 30, a little over $30,000 in the scholarship fund, which will enable us to be able to give a scholarship to the class of 2164. Now, one of the other objectives that we'd like to do is we want to try to get some more contributions so that we can give two scholarships every year in 2164. And then it'd be perpetual beyond that. So in 2264, hopefully we'll still be giving out scholarships. So I want to thank those who have contributed very much, but we need everybody to help so that we can get up to our minimum goal of 50,000. We're already 60% of the way there. That way we can guarantee two scholarships every year. Also, we're going to change a little bit in that it's not strictly college scholarship. We're looking as an option also to provide scholarships for students that are going to Daytona State to learn uh, how to be electricians, plumbers, uh, beauticians. So that's another reason why it's important that we try to raise uh, some more funds so that we can be able to do that, to be able to do it in a perpetuity, because we do need more plumbers. <laughs> I've asked Jamie to read this year's uh, scholarship award so that everybody will know uh, what we say in our scholarship award and also who the two recipients were this year. So Jamie, if you can. Read that. I uh, will. 55 years ago. The, the mainland, mainland High School, High School class, class of 1964, 1964 were sitting here looking forward to receiving scholarships for advanced training from auto mechanics to college. At the 50th reunion, the class wanted to repay the scholarship that helped them to succeed in their endeavors by sponsoring a perpetual scholarship for current and future students. The scholarship committee reviewed multiple applications of deserving students with... Oh. With great difficulty, they were able to identify two deserving students. Mr. Gregory Harris, Mr. Andrew Rawls, and Mrs. Betsy Menard are here to present the awards in the amount of $500 each to Miriam Matthew and Cameron Wright. <laughs> Congratulations, Miriam. Congratulations, Miriam. This is from our class. Yes. And Miriam, if you look real quick, we have a picture of you there. Okay. Hi. Cameron. Congratulations, Cameron. Congratulations, Cameron. Good work. And here's a certificate. Thank yes. you. Congratulations. Thank you. Job well done. And thank you all. Thank you so much. All right. One last thing. I do want to thank very much the efforts of Andy and Betsy Menard for the last five years. They have really contributed. Also, I'm looking for volunteers, hopefully, of uh, your second level children to start going so that we can still keep the review done by representatives of the class of 64. In other words, I'm looking for the second generation to help be on the committee. Uh, it only requires uh, max of about probably four to eight hours once a year to review and uh, vote for the selection. So if you have any of the second generation mainland high schoolers to go in, please send me an email or uh, let Andy know uh, through Facebook and he'll get the information to me. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you.